after clean out after the loss yesterday and the mm -hmm. season that probably you guys wanted to be better. Uh, yeah, it stings, but you know you always got next season to uh, piggyback off of what you did this year. We had seven wins, so why not go for? Now let's put a high expectation. Let's go ten plus. So mm -hmm. for next year and you know finish our games better and and uh, be a better team. Have you had your exit interview with Bruce um, and Bulls yet? Uh, I had. That's where I just came from. So yeah. Hmm? How'd you do? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 were the, what was the grade? I think I, I think who my grade for the meeting? Uh, I give it an A plus. You know, <laughs> it was open and honest. Uh, gave good feedback. They gave me their honest opinion on how my year went and uh, everything. And, I mean, that'll stay between us uh, until they come out later on. And <laughs> y'all see what happens. So we'll see. Do you think the offense as a whole did what it? Could do this year? Did you guys play up to your capabilities? Uh, probably, probably not because we had some games where there was lost and uh, we didn't finish out games uh, the best that we could. But the games that we win, I mean, that we won, uh, you can see the offense is is on the rise and can be explosive uh, throughout the game. Do you ever have thoughts of if there was another version of you on the other side of what this offense could be? Uh, that'd be scary, uh, for sure. But uh, I mean, yeah, but not not really to a sense. Because now that I think about it, it'd be that'd be nice. But uh, but then I'd be like, hmm. <laughs> well, let's say so, no, no, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I, I really don't care as long as one of us, one of the two, three, four, whatever we got coming in, uh, whoever's here, uh, somebody get the ball, make some positive happen. Make some positive shake. We got 2,000 yard people, and then Cole had like 800 plus or whatever. Backs have that. Anybody had any? Anytime you got that, I mean, that's a formula for the offense to be successful and for us to have more wins. DJ, how close is this team competing for an NFC North title? Mm, real close. I would say we had like two or three games where the outcome was different. We wouldn't even be at this day right now. We'd still be. Going, uh, going strong into the playoff picture. So, what gives you confidence that the foundation that's here could win ten games next year? Uh, I mean, when you go back and look at all the games uh, that we won, and then go look at the Denver game, the first Detroit game, uh, I want to say the first Minnesota game. I mean, it's it's like games you could pinpoint where it's like, dang, if this was a different outcome. You, you talking about what? That's four games I just said. You talking about 11, 11 win season right there? DJ, are the exit interviews an opportunity for you to provide input on what you'd like to do, and if so, do you take advantage of that opportunity? Uh, it is. Uh, I did, and um, like I said, when it come out, uh, whatever happens, happens, and maybe it's what I said uh, they do uh, or not. It's really not up. It's not up to me, but uh, just to have a voice on it is pretty uh, good. And they seem receptive to you? Like, yeah. yeah. Who wouldn't be receptive to me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I got this smile and everything. So. Were they writing stuff down as you were talking? Of course. Yeah. I didn't write nothing down. But, uh, I'm just ready to uh, rest up. What do, you, what do you do now? What is your plan now after today and the next weeks and months? Uh, my kids got uh, doctor's appointments here. After that, Oh, y'all could catch me in a win, uh, and I see y'all uh, before OTAs unless one of y'all want to interview. But that's what I'm going to do. DJ, you got a teammate in Darnell who's heading into free agency this off season and kind of his own uncertainty. What did you learn about him as a teammate and as a player, and what can he bring for a team, whether that's here or elsewhere? Uh, ever since I got here, Darnell has opened his arms, uh, helped me uh, learn the offense. Uh, he always he always was telling me how good I was, and we used to go back and forth about. Uh, just different things, um, whether it was life or just football. So, any team that gets him, hopefully he's here next year. But any team that gets him, getting a hard worker and uh, somebody that's going to be honest with you. You think he's capable of a lot more than what he produced this year? Uh, yeah, uh, he had that thousand yard season. I mean, once you get to that point, it's like you always got that under your belt, and you always know you can. Uh, like that's something that you want to chase. So I know he's going to have that on, uh, on the back burner in his mind. Uh, Keep him going. Why do you think you guys weren't able to maximize his talent this season? 
don't know. I mean, you, first you gotta stay healthy, I guess. Uh, and then, other than that, I don't really, I don't know. You, you gotta ask him that. Uh, how he felt he uh, was used this year and, uh, and everything. So, I mean, it, it's a lot of different moving parts to that. So, I mean, it's really hard to answer. Without giving away details, how much did you adjust him and what meeting? And what meeting? We had several meetings. Uh, I mean, it was board up. Uh, I mean, I board him up, you know, of course. And, I mean, he's the quarterback for the Chicago Bears until otherwise. I, mean, I don't think that's changing anytime soon. So, we'll see. How would you like that to work out for Like what, for Justin to be here? I mean, it'll, work, it'll be amazing. You know, nobody wants to really start all the way over and either have a losing season again or maybe <laughs> – have a what's the quarterback from the Bengals when he came out, Joe Burrow? We could have that kind of season. Uh, you never know; it's a hit or miss. So we'll, we're going to have to wait and see. Two more. What's different? Uh, Thanks to them, we got the number one overall pick. So it, it, they made they made it hard on us right now. <laughs>